Good morning, all you angel investors, family offices, VC folks out there. This week, I'm, uh, I, I want to talk about something that I saw. I'm at the Milken Institute um, conference this week in LA, and I was invited to a party in regards to venture. And what I saw there from the founder of this particular company was absolutely unbelievable. You know, he's talking, giving a welcome speech, talking about how he, you know, travels all over the world, putting on these events and has, having billionaire friends fund him. Now, he's young. He probably is in his really early 20s. But the reason why I was offended is because when I looked at the panel, there was absolutely no other people than white young boys. And... And that's a serious problem because I fund women and I like to fund people who are diverse. I didn't see any people of color there. I didn't see any women on the panel. And then he's talking about how he puts on these events and parties all over the world and he's wearing sunglasses as if he is on cocaine. And I was like, wow, no wonder a lot of people who are in the family office space don't like to allocate capital to venture because it looks like people are who are running these funds, these these venture funds are on cocaine and effing hookers. Now, the reason why I'm so angry at being in a situation like that because I know how hard it was. I know how hard it was as a woman to raise capital. Not that I ever went out there to raise capital for, for my company because it was all through debt financing, but to see this level of just feeling like he's so great and having no regards for his investors in regards to his company is really beyond me. And people should be ashamed of themselves and that's why I go and I meet with my partners before I invest with them. And every time I invest in a company, I consider them my partner. And I walk away from partners who don't have the same values as me. And, and sometimes you could s seem like your values align, but when you really get to know somebody and you discover their values are not aligned, I have to decline an investment, number one, or if I've already, you know, backed the company, I, I start pulling away from companies like that because three years ago I made the decision that when I'm deploying capital, it's about being transformational. It's not about being transactional. And so I had to record this video because not only did I leave the party, but I'm considering leaving the Milken Institute because to see this level of just blatant, I don't even know what to call it, disgust from my point of view is, is absolutely not acceptable. And I don't want to be a part of people who are not moving the needle because things are just going to stay the same. I needed to share this because it was so important because I was so angry at this young man who has absolutely no idea what it truly means to run a company with no money. Cheers.